Well, they are here right now. Migrants bust from Texas to Philadelphia are getting settled. 30 migrants from the border town of Del Rio, Texas, arrived at 30th Station this morning. Governor Greg Abbott sent the mostly women and children here. Family members picked up seven of the migrants. The rest went to a welcome facility in Feltonville. They are currently getting health screenings. One child was taken to Children's Hospital for treatment. We're also learning more about what happens next for these people. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live outside of Philadelphia City Hall. With that, Matt? Jess, right now, Philly city leaders tell us they are rolling out a plan they've been working on for months. It includes working with 15 community based organizations that provide translation services, food, shelter, and more to those in need. Philadelphia is a proud, welcoming city. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney has now activated what he calls a mass care plan for the nearly 30 migrants who traveled to the city Wednesday morning. Many, if not all, are seeking asylum and have demonstrated that they face real dangers of being or have been, ha have been harmed in their homeland. The city's Office of Immigrant Affairs says it's ready to assist the migrants with their legal rights. These are people that have been fully vetted by Customs and Border Patrol. They were inspected already and fingerprinted and were legally paroled into the United States to pursue their claims for asylum. Most of the 28 migrants are headed to connections they have in New York and New Jersey, and many are staying with family members. Two asylum seekers plan to stay in Philly with their families. Some of our next steps include helping people get to their final destinations. Um, there's a wide ranging of where people are trying to get to. Um, a couple of people are staying in Philadelphia. Others are moving on to other states. There's no word yet if more buses of migrants are expected to arrive in Philly, but officials say they will be prepared in the same way the city has dealt with other emergency situations. This office has played roles in welcoming and assisting evacuees from Louisiana during Hurricane Katrina, from Puerto Rico during Hurricane Maria, and from Afghanistan during Operation Allies Welcome. Regardless of, of um, what's thrown at us, we're here to welcome people with support, in solidarity, and uh, with love. This is, in my opinion, what this country is. And on top of Philadelphia, the Texas governor has also bused migrants to Washington, D.C., New York, and Chicago. Reporting live in Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you. Stay with CBS 3 for continuing coverage of the migrants who have come here to Philadelphia. When we are not on television, you can watch us on our streaming channel, CBS News Philadelphia, or check out our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.